How do we feed nine billion people by 2050? If we don't change anything,、uh, and we will go on in the way we are now、uh, consuming our food, then the next 40 years we need to produce as much food as we did over the last 8,000 years. We need to produce 70 percent more food. Of population growth, impacts of climate change, urbanization, and so on. And the people will do anything to get what they need. This is the police. What they need most is Soylent Green. The supply of Soylent Green has been exhausted. Return to your home. Melbourne's food bowl has the capacity to feed 41% of the city. In 2050, our population will grow to 7 million people, and this capacity could drop to I can control the environment. I control the water. I control the nutrients. On the inside, automated towers of vegetables rotate like Ferris wheels in slow motion between a nutrient-infused bath below and the sun above. Each tower is powered by a gravity-fed water wheel. Solving problems in food production will also mean that you you are working on solving issues that affects the whole earth. It's a combination of feeling responsible for the environment and feeling responsible for feeding the growing population.